Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And today we're just going to talk really briefly about the new animated short that came out uh, from Marvel. And this is some cool stuff that they put on their YouTube channel. So I'll put a link to it down below. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes. And it just, I don't know if there's an actual schedule to it. Um, it seemed like the first one came out when issue one of Absolute Carnage came out. And then issue, or episode two came out when issue two came out. Uh, but then this third one popped up at, uh, just randomly. So I'm kind of curious how many there is going to be and, uh, and when they pop up or if they just release them when they feel like you know they're done um and uh, and i don't know i'm I, I don't they're pretty good though they're, they're focused on norman osborne which i like because i didn't really dig the red goblin story too much like i was like eh, it had some big moments in it sure uh but for like the ending of like dan slot's run i was like oh really this is going to be how the you know you you end your like 10 year run um i don't know it, it didn't really sell me big time on it but i like the ramifications from that story now so that story may have not have done a lot for me but now this post stuff has because him thinking he's Cletus Cassidy and him bonding with a new Carnage symbiote and still thinking he's Carnage and Cletus Cassidy uh, while interacting with the real Cletus Cassidy. Some of that's fun. And then him going to interact with uh, Norman or uh, uh, Normie and Harry. Uh, and then, you know, Harry being like, you're my dad, you know, like, like, why are you doing this? Why are you pretending to be somebody else? And he's like, I really am Cletus, you know, and it's it's fun. I think it's great use of the character and that little thread that they left the book with. And again, I wonder if Dan Slott just came up with that and that was something Donny Cates was like, hey, I'm going to take that and run with it. Or if Donny Cates said, hey, you know what would be fun is if you, at the end of your story, if you could just, you know, have Cletus Cassidy's mind inside Norman's mind because I might do something with that later. So you, I, you don't really know. Comics are a collaborative effort. Um, so I don't know if Dan Slott fully came up with that or if Donny Cates had a hand in that. Uh, but whatever it is, I'm glad it happened because uh, I think they're doing great stuff with it now at least. And uh, and I'm digging it. So now it made me re-appreciate the Red Goblin storyline because I'm like, oh, it's a, it was a great precursor to what they're doing here and in these short films. And the animation's kind of fun. The voice acting's kind of fun. I mean, I had a little issues with the uh, carnage, like the main uh, Cletus Carnage in the first episode but the person playing Norman and stuff I think is doing a great job and Harry and everyone and in this one you have Norman like in the sewers after the end of the last episode you know he's defeated by Harry obviously and he's trying to recoup and you know recover but he's battling with the symbiote and the symbiote's like you know what screw this you know the real deal the real Cletus is back at the the you know uh, Ravencroft we're going to go back to our, our lair or whatever underneath Ravencroft and we're going to rebond and you know screw this we're, we're done wasting time with you uh, you know we were hoping to get Norman out here you know we're, we're tired of having this back and forth with someone who thinks they're us and you know and thinks they're cletus when the suit's like i'm not having this i want to be bonded with the real cletus or with norman but i don't want this like fake weird gray area so there's this great back and forth between them where the symbiote's like leaving him and stuff uh, which is cool because rarely in the comics has the carnage symbiote willingly left its host but these are like spawn carnage symbiotes made by the powers that carnage now has from null now that he's getting stronger and more codices in him but what's interesting is he's also creating this foot soldier army of all these carnages but now they all have codices in them so at the end he'll probably just line them all up like because that's why he recruited a cult and at the end he'll just be like all right now all of you guys line up and i'm going to rip your spines out one by one and make myself even stronger um so yeah i'm, I'm curious to see like how that's going to play out so uh but so now Norman even has more codices in him because he's had the real Carnage symbiote. Now he's had this little offspring thing that, you know, Carnage made in him as well. So uh, I don't know if they're different or if they're similar enough to where it's, you know, doesn't make him another unicorn type character. Uh, but the back and forth they have in this episode with him is pretty good. And you kind of get more into the mind of Norman slash Cletus, uh, but maybe starting to see some cracks there as well uh, and see, I, I can't wait. I'm, I think that's going to be the, the turning point in the story for some of this is Norman Osborn's personality coming out. So I think that's why they're focusing on him so much and putting him in, in so many of these different books to kind of get him out there and get him in your face because that way when he has a big turning point in the story, um, it'll matter more, I'm thinking. Uh, so these little shorts are great for that. So they're a great like a companion piece to all these like tie-in comic books. So if you haven't watched them yet, please go check them out. I don't want to spoil kind of what happens with the suit here and, and like the relationship they have and whether they get back together or not. Like obviously if you're reading the comics, you know they kind of do. But still, like there's some great moments and there's some deaths in this one and it uh, gets pretty brutal. So I, I highly recommend you go check it out for yourself and let me know in the comments down below if you've watched it, what you think of it and you haven't, go watch it now because I didn't really spoil too much and then come back and talk to us in the comments down below. And make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff because we have a lot more episodes coming up very soon. I have a very busy week. 
I'm working pretty much every day this week, one day off, but that one day I might have filled it with something. I'm just waiting to hear back uh, from them about it, but it's a, a cool event here in California in Los Angeles. It's Resident Evil related about the new game, but that's all I know about it, and I don't know if I've been picked or not, so I'm still waiting to hear. So I may not have any days off this week, uh, but I will try to make content for you guys when I can, I promise. So thanks so much again. I will see you all in the future. Peace.